All right, Scorpio, let's get into your reading. Peek at your person. All right, your person's overall energy. We have mental conflict, spiritual union. So this person could be a little bit conflicted in their thoughts. Um, is this meant to be? Is this supposed to be? Um, is this divinely guided? Are you my soulmate? I do a positive movement forward to a stable new beginning. However, I do have emotional withdrawal and temptation. So is your person emotionally withdrawn right now? I feel like intentions might be good here, but there's something that is off. Uh, angel numbers, I am seeing 8811 and 22. Um, so if you want to look that up, see if there's a message there for you. All right, Scorpio, it is a general collective reading. Some messages may be for you, some may not. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Also, it can be flip-flopped and reversed. So keep that in mind as well. When I say your person, it could be you, all right? Um, also, if you're feeling the vibe, want to be part of the tribe, subscribe. <laughs> I know. Like this video, share this video, comment below if you'd like. Oh, boy. All right, Scorpio, your person's current energy is... They're stressing. There's a sadness, loss, regret, remorse, something about timing, divine timing, being patient, going with the flow. Definitely blocked off doing some resting, healing, thinking. This person is all up in their head. All up in their Wow. Check this out. I have five of swords, nine of swords, and then I have five of cups and seven of wands. I feel like this person, they're completely blocked off. They have conflicting thoughts. They're all stressed out. They're overthinking something. There's also a sadness, loss, regret, remorse. What did this person do? Did they fall for some kind of temptation? Sagittarius energy. My player card, heartache, pain, disappointment. Okay, what is happening here? Um, let's see, blockages. I'm going to look at blockages. I am hearing that song by Poison, Every Rose Has Its Thorn. It's like I know not every relationship is perfect. Relationships take a lot of work and effort. But why is this person so conflicted? They're stuck in a one-way thinking. They have tunnel vision. It's like they can't, they're not putting themselves in your shoes or seeing things from your point of view. Waiting, not waiting, it is a blockage. Or they're waiting just way too long for something. Blockages, blockages, blockages. Scorpio and this person, sadness, loss, regret, remorse. Falling right under the other sadness, loss, regret, remorse. All right, Gemini energy, Knight of Swords, wishy-washy energy, rushing in, rushing out, actions not matching words, self-sabotage, and Five of Swords again. Mental conflict or trying to win at all costs, fighting, arguing. I'm taking it more as mental conflict. I have giving to two or breadcrumbing or just an imbalance. Victory and success is a blockage here. Why? 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 The devil again. Temptation, toxicity, addiction, not being able to walk away from what? What is this person all up in their head about? The emperor, the magician. What is this lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, manipulating the world? Did they tell you a cycle was closed out, but it wasn't, and some kind of truth came out? Is that, that what's happening here? Did they fall for some kind of temptation? Were you the temptation? Are they mentally conflicted because they feel such a strong energy with you, a strong bond with you, and they want to move forward with you? But there's, there's something here that got in the way. I feel like they weren't being fully truthful with you, but... I feel like the truth did come to light. Three of Cups, Ace of Wands, with maybe a Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
I'm asking, like, what kind of truth came, came out here? I'm hearing that song, Listen to Your Heart by Roxette. Listen to your heart. Uh, something got in the way of this. And now this person, they, they do have regrets. They are lost. You're hearing that song, Lost Only in My Dreams. Over that, um, Debbie Gibson, I think, sings it. They're feeling lost. All right, how does this person feel about you, Scorpio? The lovers. That's what I'm saying. They feel like this deep soul bond with you. But there's there's something. Yep, the star. You're their wish fulfillment. They ha having hope and faith or healing. Some something came to light here. Strength, confidence, courage. Yeah, they see you as confident. Confused or an option? What is this? Drama, arguments, disputes. Did you end it? Did something come to light here, Scorpio, and you said, nope, bye, peace out? I feel like it came with a really big argument. Knight of Wands, now Sagittarius energy. Did you feel like you were getting played by this person? Lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, manipulation. Mm -hmm. You may have lived with this person or were in like some kind of a commitment with this person. Three of Cups again. Three of Cups could be a third party person, place, or thing. It doesn't necessarily mean cheating, but I do kind of get the vibe of cheating. Ace of Wands is here. The player card is here. Um, take it how it resonates, but the devil is here too. And Cups, that could mean like an addiction, drinking, partying, um, putting other things in front of this relationship or commitment. So take that how it resonates, okay? But Empress. Is it with someone from maybe their past that they had children with? This is how they feel about you, though. They could feel like you're the Empress, loving, caring, nurturing energy. They still feel like they're going to have victory and success with you. Ace of Cups, wanting a new beginning. They do love you. They may want to apologize. They want a new beginning in love with you. Yep, they want they want to reconcile this. Oh, they messed up. They messed up. They messed up. They messed up. Oh, now they're seeing things from your point of view. Now they're putting themselves in your shoes. Because you pulled back. You cut them off. You, you are their wish fulfillment, Scorpio. You are. I don't know what this third party thing was about. There was some kind of temptation that went along with it. They, they messed up. They messed up, messed up. So what are their intentions with you? Their next action steps. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. High Priestess. Following their intuition. Could be keeping it secret still. Four of Wands, leveling up, house, home, commitment. They are feeling rejected, though, to the sun. What are they walking away from? What are they walking away from? Their next action steps is walking away from something. Um, a page of cups and a page of wands. Yeah, they're walking away from whatever it was that they got themselves into. So whatever that situation is, they are walking away from it. They do have regrets. Moving forward with the wheel communication to offer you a page of pentacles. And put in work and effort now. They did have a wake up call of sorts, Scorpio, and I know, I know, yeah, see, they wanna they wanna reconcile here and put in work and effort. They do wanna talk to you. They wanna heal this. They wanna move this into calmer waters. 
Again, they want to heal this, heal this, heal this, heal this. And I know, I know, Scorpio, I'm Scorpio too. You don't take anybody back, right? It's not always the case. It's not always the case. Uh, depends on the situation. Let's see what you're going to do, though. Let's see. Are you going to? Are you not? What's Scorpio going to do? All right. The sun. Happiness. What is Scorpio going to do? What is Scorpio going to do? Woohoohoo! You're going to do a lot. Ten of swords. Three cups in reverse. The fool. Stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, overthinking. This, I do feel bad, Scorpio. You did see this as your long-term happiness. You did. You, you probably thought this person was the one or there was something here with this person. And then this situation happened and you're hurt. You're disappointed. You're hurt. You took a, you took a risk. You took a leap of faith and it kind of backfired on you. You are going to get an apology from this person. <clears throat> You're still shut down. This was a big shock to you. This was a big letdown, a big tower moment to you. I feel like you are going to end it. You're, you're still kind of weighing, should I, shouldn't I? Because I feel like you do love this person. Yeah, you thought this was your two of cups. This person feels like you're their two of cups. I do, I do feel like they really are sorry, but it's also, well, how could they do that to me if they loved me? How could they do this to me if they loved me, right? I get it. I do. And I feel for you because they were your wish fulfillment. There's going to be some arguing going on between the two of you. Yeah, your wall is up. Trust is broken now. Ugh. That's going to be hard to get back. Very hard to get back. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, closing, closing the cycle out. I'm gonna make you sad, but and they also they do regret this. I got the Sagittarius energy again, and then Ace of Cups, Gemini energy, Knight of Swords. It could have been like someone from their past that kind of came back and they had some temptation. Maybe they didn't have closure. From the past so when that person reached out or came around or whatever they fell for that temptation to get that closure or to get something i don't know i don't know i don't know but i do feel scorpio this person is genuine with feeling bad about it and definitely feeling sorry i feel like most of you are going to close out this cycle I just, mm, yep, single, solo, independent. Blocking, here, yeah. A lot of you are done, done, done. Moving on, moving on, moving away, closing it out. Uh, is there anybody new coming towards you, Scorpio? Well, you got 10 of cups coming towards you, so what's that? <laughs> Were you dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Earth sign? They're coming toward you. They want to rebuild. It's not, I thought it was going to be new, new love. You're stuck, though, because of this third party thing. Um, 
I have another earth sign here. So if it is, it could be any sign, you guys. It doesn't have to be earth, but heavy earth is coming through. It could be other placements in their charts. Could it happen during those seasons? So take it how it resonates, but you could be leaving an earth sign to go towards another earth sign. Because now I have king of pentacles and queen of pentacles. So you have two king and queen of pentacles coming towards you. Um, again, doesn't necessarily mean that it's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It is a general reading. If it were personal, I would say you're leaving a Capricorn and going towards a Taurus or vice versa. Um, either way, I do feel like you're closing this out. Most of you, probably 95% of you. All right, messages for Scorpio. Keep the door open. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones that are opening for you. If you're so focused on the hurt and the pain and the disappointment with this situation, you may miss this other person coming towards you. Keep your options open, I guess, right? Heal first, though. You're going to want to heal. Don't bring that baggage into something new. But uh, Twin Flame, this person is your mirror soul. This is why this connection feels so sacred to you. Maybe in a past life you did this to them. Maybe. Be honest. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations are necessary. It's safe for you to talk about your feelings. Distance. This separation you are experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow. Difficulties. Jealousies from others may serve as obstacles to the success of this connection. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like an ex, maybe the ex saw that you were doing good and you're happy or your person was happy and they just needed to come in and mess it up. Have faith. The angels are working behind the scenes to make this relationship flourish. Divine timing. Be patient while things are unfolding. This connection is worth the wait. But I do feel you are going to close out this cycle and move forward while this person feels the loss of you. And maybe down the road, maybe you can forgive them down the road. You know, any other messages for Scorpio? Roll the dice. Take a chance, risk, leap of faith, strategy, date, courting, dating, anniversary, meetup, hookup, one night stand, intimacy, casual relationship, fling. Regret. See, they regret hooking up with this person. And I do feel like maybe it was a one night thing or a one time thing. It was that temptation. Regret, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology, ghosted, disappear, silence, ignored, rejected. Yeah, you're you're up and ghosting them. <laughs> they do regret it though. They do. All right, let's get some letters, numbers, zodiac signs. Uh, letters could be first, middle, last name. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. I do see A K N in there sticking out to me. J Y R V W O H P U. So what did I say? A K N J Y R V P U W O H. All right. Zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their charts. Something could happen during that season, like Scorpio season, for instance. All right. What do we got? Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Could be any sign, you guys. Place it where you see fit. Numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be angel numbers. Could be an age. Uh, angel numbers, we have 9-9 nine, nine coming through. I told you at the beginning, right? I see 8-8-2-2-1-1. Eight, eight, two, two, one, one. All right, so I'm going to roll one of these nines. So 2 nine, nine, eight, and 11. So 2 9 8, 11. Could be February, September, August, or November. 29, 28, 98, 89, 82, 92, 29. Place it where you see fit. Scorpio, that is what I have for you. Love and light. Take care.